What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and welcome to Gone Home. I have been getting tons and tons of requests to play through this game. I've heard it has a quite magical, wonderful little story and sounds like it's right up my alley. So I thought we would dive right in. If you think it looks awesome and very cool too, smash that like button, add your favorites, let me know in the comments below. Without further ado guys and girls though, let's jump right in to this creepy house. Gone Home begins right about now. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Welcome home. It's June 1995. Here's my luggage. I'm home. And what is... My name is Caitlin. We're in Portland here, apparently. It's a pretty cool house. You got a nice, uh, nice porch here. Let's see. What does this say? Uh, Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Well, I already have chills. Goodness gracious. The door is locked. I just came home and nobody is even around? Like, what? What? I... Are the windows open? Hello? Anybody in there? I'm already fearing the creepy grudge girl popping around the corner and eating our soul. That door is locked too. Can I? Well, what am I supposed to do? Do we have to go out in the rain? I can't open that door. Let's see. Uh, my bag not gonna help. What about this cabinet here? Uh, there's some Christmas decorations and stuff. A duck. Uh, there's a key. Five ninety nine at the local six dollar store. All right. Get that duck bag. Take the house key. And we're gonna go inside the home. Okay, I have a backpack here. This is me, I'm not pretty. Like that hairstyle, dang girl. Um, my boarding pass, my passport, a map of the house, some journal entries. Oh, this is gonna be good. My kind of game is right. Thank you to everybody who recommended this. I've heard nothing but brilliant things. All right, so let's unlock the door. And in the house, oh my God, this is one of those houses where ghosts come around every corner and then grab you and, and rip out your esophagus through your nose. Front. It's, it's all like packed up, like what? Oh no, that's kind of eerie. Let's turn that bad boy back on. It's an invoice. Wellspring movers, they moved the kitchen, the master, everything they moved. Why did they move and not tell me? <laughs> Dear Katie, <sighs> so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Oh my god, is that like the most sentimental stuff ever? Like, honest to god, it's kind of creeping me out. Like, are they dead? Are they gone? Oh my god, I'm already kind of nervous. There's like, lots of receipts. It looks like they kind of left in a hurry. Because for all the stuff they moved, they left quite a bit, you know what I'm saying? The bathroom is open first, so let's let's close that door. It's our, it is our family house. Let's be respectful. What do we got? A magazine. Author magazine blank page. Maybe she was really getting into writing since I've been gone? We've got some toilet paper, which I'm now going to uh, throw on the toilet. And a creepy... Hey, can we turn this light on? No. Is there a light switch? Ooh, yeah. I like how it's so realistic. It's like, this is a house. There are things to do. Uh, someone's taking... I thought those were meds. It's just band-aids. Okay. 
Cleansing powder? Can I... Can I open it? I wish I could. Let's put some cleansing powder in the sink. You don't want a dirty sink. Alright. Uh, there's my family. Dad and mom looking just so beautiful. Alright, so Jan is our mom. Terry's our dad. Sam is our younger sister. And that's me, Katie! Alright. Okay, that's... Just, why is it gotta be so scary? It's so funny, because we're so trained to expect horror around every dark corner in a, in a creepy home. Alright. Sam. Sam. Hello? Sam! Oh my god. Really? I need to talk to you. Who is that? The mom or her friend? Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Hey, that's me. Okay, so, love you. See you, Sam. Bye. Dad was me. Let's read this note. Sam, Daniel from an old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I've ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. It's a good reason. I did that with some kids. I won't lie about that. Anyways, uh, this weirdo, I hope he's not the one that's caused problems in the house. Nothing in there. We've got boon count. Ooh, okay. Worldwide timetable. Katie's departure, that's me. Going to Europe, doing all my travels. Alright. Alright, let's go in this room first. Let's try to do things methodically here. Uh, and then I'm drawn to the green, creepy head skull. Look, uh... Hecho in Mexico. Alright, what did we win a trophy for here? First place, 100 meter relay. That's my trophy. I'm the champ. Lots of good track track efforts here. Let's turn the lights on. Hopefully more lights equals less fear. Nice flowers. Mom always liked those ornate pictures. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, roomie Carol. It's mom's roommate. Other notes and such in there? No, we've, we've already read the letter. Enough flower painting. Let's see, anything interesting in here? To Boone Telephone Directory, okay. Alright, again, I am going to go back to this room because it's the first one here. It's a coat closet. They're packed. They didn't even take all the boxes. Like, what is going on? Okay, that's... That's for Janice. She's a forestry service. Okay, she works at a... At a freaking... Like, wild park or nature park. Good fellow, high school. That must be where I went. Grab the board game. It's, uh, Over the Alps, a novel traveling game. I want to play that. I love board games. Sit there for later. My entire family is missing. This is... Would you, like, just pull out your cell phone? Maybe she doesn't have a cell phone. It's, what, 95? Eh, she could. Maybe a giant one. I don't really know. Locked. Uh, in 1995, I was five years old, so... I wasn't thinking about cell phones or computers. I was thinking about Full House and uh, <laughs> basketball. No, I probably didn't like basketball then. Like, original NES. That's what I was playing. NES and uh, that light's flickering. That's really scary. I'm still apprehensive there's going to be a jump scare. All right, we can check our uh, location. Let's see, we're here. A backpack with a letter. Welcome, new student. We hope that you're as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. All the stuff to bring. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. 
and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. All right, there was some hitching for some reason with the audio, so I just stopped the recording and clicked back into it. So we're here. Sam started the first day of school, and people think this is the Psycho House, which has me a little bit nervous. There's a postcard that I sent home from Paris, and it says, Mom and Dad and Sam, I'm in Paris. Now we're country all of a sudden. No, let's rephrase that. Mom and Dad and Sam, I'm in Paris. I've done many things, many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit de Junior and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Weird, because it's the new house, right? I see how it is. All right. What is this over here? An obituary. Oscar Doc Mason. Boone County died peacefully last month. Why did they say this? Pharmacy. Huh. Weird. What is this? De Soto. This girl looks like she's straight out of Final Fantasy, but all right. All right, so... What is going on here? I hear voices. Oh, my dear God. Hello? Turn the lights on. It's a dance party. No, it's just another room full of stuff and drawers. And Does the electrical... Okay, they're reading out stuff. Wiring house is technically up to safety. Multiple things have been added over the last hundred years. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floor floorboard and door frames disrupts circuits. Black cat electrical? That's not creepy at all. Terrence Greenbrier. Is my dad's name Terrence? I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I can't... What was his name? Father, father, father. Terry. Oh, maybe it is him. So this was his... This was our grandpa? No, 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 Gramps. Oscar Mason. Oh, his uncle it was. Okay, I was gonna say. So there's a radio on somewhere and it's really kind of creepy. Someone's typing something. They say that Jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Someone was writing something for that. What is this? You can do better. What if JFK wasn't JFK? Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese? JFK president, US, USSR coalition. Magic bullet theory. Oh my god, he was like a a JFK conspiracy theorist. Intercept. LHO and USSR. Killed in Marines. Why not disrupt? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay. Back to basics. Dad's a little bit weird, huh? Uh-oh, we need a combination for his file cabinet. What's this? Oh, more JFK stuff. Dad, you crazy man. Alright, let's see. Can I grab the paper? No. Where do you think he'd keep his combination? Let's open some drawers. Let's open some drawers. As you can see, it's a very unique game. Uh, I've heard there's nothing quite like it. It's more of an adventure through a story, through a time, through a house, than it is full of action or, or killing or crazy jumps. But there's something quite magical about that, and I think it's going to be a special a special journey for us to share together. Let's open this up. Can I open your box? Nothing in the... There is some paper, but... Where would he keep his combo for his safe? Huh. Don't know. Maybe we'll find it later. Alright. This is like the study. Oh my god, why is everything so freaking eerie? This is the demon house, isn't it? <gasps> do, 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 do. Why does the library have multiple corners? Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth. Oh, so he reviews products. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. 
The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting it loose. There's tons of guys half your age who could take your rate, who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for so long. He's the boss. Giving you one more shot, Brent. All right, Brent. I'm messing with my dad. A stranger under my roof? Oh. <laughs> Teen advice. Sam must have been getting a little bit feisty at home. And here we have... Oh, dear Lord. That's a braid if I ever saw one. All right. Coaster. You ever have coasters? I feel like that's a thing of the past now. Anything cool there? Not really. Uh, some ca cabinets. What do you got? Dad's second book. The Accidental Pariah. He wrote this. Oh. A message from our future saved the president's life once. But within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. Must be a fiction book, huh? Okay. Where is his freaking combination? I don't know what it is. There must be something good in it that blocked, right? I know they're like, don't rummage through his things, but... Uh-oh. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars. John Russell, John Russell, matter transference operator. Was everyone, like, going crazy in the house and thinking about aliens and such? Can I... What if, can I break the glass, you think? No, it didn't break. All right, grab the highlighter. Okay, can I, like, highlight something? Hmm. You think somewhere on here is his combo? No. Maybe it's 1963. Since he's like obsessed with that year. I don't know. It's a worthwhile guess, right? Nope. Huh. Well, this is strange. The Tombs of Youth Atonement Melville. The complete I Ching. Dad, what was going on with you, boy? There's nothing in here that I can look at. Eh? That's just some uh, stationery of his. Some empty papers and such. Nothing in the three-ring binder. Put it back. Close the drawer. Throw it on the floor. Something weird's going on, so I don't mind making a mess. Again, if I was if I was Katie, I'd be freaking the heck out and like <gasps> screaming, yelling, running out of the house. I'm really surprised there's no. Oh, I have an idea. I think I remember something. Let's go back here. I think this folder had a number on it. Zero four five one. I bet that's Dad's code. Hmm. Mm, God, I feel bad about his books. I know it's not the greatest book, but I kind of want to be respectful of him. He's a good guy. And can't. We'll just put it back. We'll just put it back. All right, Dad. No, 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 no. Put it back. Can we please put it back? Put it... Uh-oh. What is under there? Hey, whoa. Got some, uh, interesting magazines going on, Dad. That's pretty darn risque for 1995, I think. <laughs> Let's put a lid on that. We don't, we don't want to see that. All right, Dad. Zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. I keep thinking that's sprint, but it's actually zoom. Zero, four, five. Inside, dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and a type copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed. Jeffrey Wise, will and testament for Oscar Mason. <sighs> to my nephew Terrence, he gets the whole house. He signed this in 1973. Wow. The will and testament. Oh my god. Bequeath to his children. Alright, so we got this. Got this house from from Oscar. This is one massive house. Why is it gotta be Oh, they left the TV on? Why would they just leave like this? It's so strange and eerie. Girl Scout, put it in. Oh yeah, this is my jam. Severe weather warning. Okay, we don't need to hear about that. 
Making friends. Sam thought this might help. Oh, she was clearly having a tough time. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Punk girl senior playing Street Fighter at 7-Eleven. Hi, Terry. In close, please find a pie. Oh, that's the thing he was reviewing. All right, that was his latest review. Someone had pizza recently. It's all gone. Can I write with the pen? I wish I could. It's amazing to me how good this game looks and how much stuff you can pick up, you know? It's kind of cool. Closet of clothes and a storybook. The Heaven at the End of the World by Samantha in grade two. The Turtle People, part one. Nice drawings of pirates. I like these stickers. Those are pretty awesome. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, you're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, we'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. I still have a lot of my stories from when I was in first and second grade, believe it or not. Got a lot of tapes. The Time Machine, Fantastic Voyage, Top Gun, Ghostbusters, Labyrinth, all these, like, double tapes. Two movies on one, The Andromeda Strain. What's this? Terry, hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much reviewer to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. So this is how he got started at some of his reviews. Do it, says Mike. All right. Huh. Wait, wait, that's the way we came. This is the new path. A bunch of coupons. Save some money. United States Department of Agriculture. This must be for Mom. Pacific Northwest Conservation. Yeah, it's definitely for her. All right. It's a massive house, peoples. It's the, like, entertainment area room? Bar room? What do you call this? So much cabins. They, like, full fill all the shelves, though, which is weird. Dave Brurek Quartet. Uh, this must be Sam's folder. Productive, reproductive system. Oh, dang. The menstrual cycle of novella. See me, she said. Huh. Meanwhile, deep within her gut started out. Oh, it's a little, probably a little bit, uh, a little graphic or weird for, for the teacher. Giving up her rations to keep Boris alive. Huddled in a half destroyed tur church. Bandage. The egg will not be meaning the sperm. It dissolves. All right. <laughs> So, apparently, she's a little bit odd. There's a textbook here, world history. All right, let's turn the lamp on. Ooh, la, la, la. A record player. Let's play some music. Oh, this is my jam, too. My family still remembers all my favorite tunes. Drink it, drink it. Okay. Somehow I always knew. Oh, there's letters everywhere. This family just leaves stuff all over. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I read to you inform you that, unfortunately... Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of the Accidental Savia, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series... Aw. Poor guy. And then he drank all the alcohol because he was sad. I better turn this music off because if I hear it again later, it's gonna... Hey, no. Don't look at me, honey. I'm alone in this house, and it's freaking not very funny. This is a great picture of a, of a... This is like a dead cupcake. I can't even tell. Like, eye, eye, mouth, cupcake. Getting hot water poured on his, poured on his face. I don't even know. Welcome to another closet. More books. The Accidental Savior. Samantha, please give this to your mother. 
Uh, Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could send lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighter tape, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to her house to visit any time. Okay, Mary. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. Mm. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Mm, that sounds like it's leading to trouble. Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam, what? What? Ha where are Mom and Dad? Did, did she expect them to be back? Where did Sam go? Did she run off with Danny? I bet that's what happened. They're like, we're gonna go become masters of Nintendo. In Japan. No, maybe not. Watching the wizard too much. Hi, Lonnie. So if you want to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far. But I can drive you home, too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet up in the parking lot after 6. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. As he fires a goo hadouken at him. Anyways... A new friend? So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. <laughs> At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted... So Lonnie is the street fighter chick, but this is of importance. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mom and Dad. The attic. And then she scratches it out. That's a little bit eerie to me. Don't tell Mom and Dad whatever you found. The attic. And then was she kidnapped, taken? I don't even know. Oh, this is getting really, really... I want to know what's going on with the peoples and the... That's that note. What was this note? No, oh, that's the one about missing stuff. Don't tell him. As you can see here, there's a locked door to the basement. There's another locked door here. Oh, my goodness gracious. What do you guys think happened? I don't even begin to know. Something clearly went wrong with Sam. Either she left or died or just some strangeness went down. But... Either way, guys and girls, as we move back towards the foyer and head upstairs, what do you think? Do you want to see more? What are your theories on what happened to this home and this family here in the Psycho House? The big freaking creepy house. I will keep playing. I think this is super awesome, but I'm curious to feel, hear and, and see and feel what you guys are thinking, seeing, and feeling about the game. Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you want to see more in our trip to the upstairs. It's a totally different experience. There's no guns like Saints Row 4. There's no swashbuckling action like Disney Infinity. There's no boom, boom, pow like Injustice. But I think this is an experience worth going through. So until next time, guys and girls, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drink some hot chocolate. Have a fantastic day. Until next time, we'll see you all later.